Hello and welcome everyone. Now in this video, we are going to uh, talk about some basics of AutoCAD. Now, the first thing that all of you should know is that this particular software, Auto, AutoCAD, is developed by Autodesk, which is the uh, company that basically uh, owns this software. Okay, if you want to buy this, you will have to buy it from Autodesk. Then uh, the second information uh, about this particular software is what is the format in which the drawings are saved. So by default, all AutoCAD drawings, they will be saved in .dwg file. Okay, all drawings, they are saved in .dwg. So that is the default format of AutoCAD file that you can see from this particular uh, title here as well, drawing1.dwg. Then if you have a template, okay, uh, and you want to save your drawing or basically you want to save a specific template so you will have to save it in dot dwt so all the template files in autocad they are saved in dot dwt so that is uh, a very basic difference between template and drawing then the next thing uh, that we need to discuss is about the basics of this particular uh, layout that you are seeing uh, user interface that you are seeing so this particular area this one which contains uh, some basic commands this is known as ribbon this one starting from this draw toolbar then modify then annotation then layers after that blocks then properties groups utilities and uh, some basic clipboard units so this particular area is known as ribbon okay now these uh, icons that you are seeing here tabs these are known as tabs, home, insert, annotate. So basically all the basic commands, uh, this ribbon is available in home uh, tab. Then if you want to insert something into your drawing, you will have to go to this particular tab, insert tab. If you want to write something, you will have to go to annotate tab. Okay. Then if you want to uh, change the view of this particular drawing, so you will have to go to this uh, view tab. And this icon, this is our UCS icon. You can turn it off or on from here. The uh, on the right side of your drawing, you will see this view cube that you are seeing. You can turn it off or on from here. Then navigation bar is this bar that uh, you are seeing on this side. Basically, zoom, pan, and other basic commands are there. So you can turn it on and off from view as well. Okay. So properties, then uh, layout tabs, everything you can see from. You can uh, whatever is visible uh, in this user interface, you can change it from view to uh, view tab. Then manage. So this is uh, a little bit advanced uh, tab that we can use to import a particular type of uh, settings. Okay, to export a particular type of settings. So these are some basic things that we can do. We, if you want to load some application, we will go to uh, load application. If you want to run a script or basically a sequence of commands, you will click on run script. Okay. After that, in output, you can export your file to uh, various setups that you can do from output here, or you can basically save as or export it uh, directly from here as well. Then if you have installed some add-ins in this particular software that uh, basically will be visible in this particular add-ins option. Now collaborate is related to sharing the drawing or uh, basically uh, marking or uh, comparing two DWG files. Okay, so that is something that you will find in collaborate. Then there are some express tools. Okay. So uh, they are again a little advanced version. We will discuss them in detail in upcoming videos. After that, there are certain featured apps that are again provided by uh, Autodesk that we can use. Okay. Now, this particular portion that you are seeing on the bottom, this one is known as taskbar and this one is known as command bar. Okay. You can shift this command bar anywhere. Okay like you are seeing here you can move it anywhere else as well after that if you are not if you have turned it off like right now i'm turning it off if you have turned it, this off you can turn it on again by pressing control 9 okay so that is something that you can do after that there are two options model and layout and right now we are in model 
and if you will change to layout basically you will be seeing a particular type of file now model is the area in which we are creating our drawing okay and if you want to uh, plot it by using a plotter or a printer or you want to basically uh, provide this drawing to a particular client you will have to basically provide in a particular layout okay so model is the area in which we create the drawing and layout is the area in which we provide the drawing to the client okay so that's the difference between model and layout after that taskbar contains some basic uh, uh, and a lot useful items like grid you can turn on and off then grid snaps so uh, we, we have discussed this snap mode polar tracking in uh, previous videos grid snap is there then dynamic input like you uh, if you click anywhere you are seeing the coordinates of your location so this particular portion that you are seeing this is known as dynamic input you can turn it off from here so you will not see any kind of information about your cursor so that's dynamic input then ortho mode polar tracking then uh, iso drafting after that snapping reference lines o snap so all of these commands they are in taskbar after that you can change your system of units like you want to use architectural units decimal engineering so these things you can change from here after that your uh, display workspace basically uh, what in uh, the space in which you are working you can change it from here you can uh, change the uh, adjust the scale after that uh, if a particular element is not available in the taskbar you can turn it on or off from this particular option that you are seeing here okay so you can change it from here and you can uh, basically turn on full screen or you can uh, switch to the same previous mode by using this particular icon that is clean screen okay so the shortcut to clean screen is control 0 shortcut to command bar is control 9 if you want to turn off the ribbon you can use ribbon command like type r i w e o n and ribbon close you will see that ribbon is removed and if you want to bring it again click on ribbon and it will be available so these are the basic uh, information that you should know now suppose that a particular tab is not visible uh, in these tabs like i'm not able to find 3d tools here so what can i do in this particular case you will simply right click here and click on show tabs and you can check the tab that you want to bring here like 3d tools was not available earlier but we have brought it so you can turn on and turn off any tab from here along with this these panels as well we can turn them on or off so that's all for today thank you very much and have a nice day